Hi, good morning. Welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, today in the mail, I got the Thoth Tarot, Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot. I got sort of the standard size, so I'm looking forward to sort of diving into that. I also got Spirit of the Wheel. So I'm quite interested in um, Spirit of the World med Meditation deck. So I'm looking forward to sort of diving into that. I have had this deck before, but um, circumstances and everything. So I'm looking forward to sort of diving into that as well. So what I'm going to begin with at the moment is the of Tarot. So this one comes with this book here. I suppose, you know, a little white book, so to speak. Writing's really tiny, so I'm going to need my glasses and that to look through it, of course. So, um, yeah, let's just grab glasses. I knew I always I do this every time, don't I? My glasses. It's going to be a running joke, I think. On this, I always forget my glasses. Right, instructions for Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot Deck by James Wasserman, plus two essays written by later Frida Harris with, with commentary and footnotes by Stuart R. Kaplan. Okay, so it is in just English, is it? Yep. The full is here, yep. Okay, so how many pages do we have in this? We have 49 pages or so. There's quite a bit of information in the um, in the card. So you've got sort of a starts with the tarot and its application. Introduction tarot and its application with some spread. Which is quite good. There, so it's quite a bit there. Then you go through the major arcana. Then it's a quick look at the wands, cups, swords, and discs. And then you go into a bit more suggested reading list. The tree of life with tarot attributions. A brief commentary from the publisher. Exhibition of Playing Cards, the Tarot, 78 Paintings According to the Initiated Tradition of Modern Scientific Thought with Other Occult and Alchemical Designs. There's quite a lot into it. The 22 Trumps, with a bit more information there. Then it goes into each of the suits, with quite a bit of information. And then it's got Berkeley Gallery, 78 paintings by Frida Harris. It's got another sort of essay, which goes into quite a bit. Again, you're looking at the Trumps, the catalogue. Wow, it's quite a lot of, um, it talks about the paintings and things and the suits. Well, so you get quite a bit in it. So it's going to be something I'm going to have to study, of course. So let's have a look at the artwork. Let's have a look. So... We start with the magus. We do start with one. The priestess. I like the size. I like the feel of the cards. They feel really nice. Definitely get a better look at the artwork than I usually have the mini, of course, those that have followed my, um, no. Probably my channel will know that I normally just use the mini, so it's quite nice to have sort of a bigger deck. We end with the full. Okay, so now we go through the wands. So we've got Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Prince, Wands, and Princess. With oppression, strength. So you go through. I do like having sort of the keywords on the bottom of the cards. It does sort of help to expand the knowledge of these decks. Just learning the court cards I think is quite quite a um, and there's so much more involved when you look at the um, zodiac signs and the elementals and all oh, so much involved with each of the cards. It's just the astrological deacons and all that sort of thing go into it. So yeah you can sort of see the imagery of each of the cards. So yeah, so yeah, so 
I'm looking forward to sort of using this a bit more. Of course, it's got its extra card there, of course, and then it's got the Auto Templi Orient Orientis. The tower is a pictorial representation of the forces of nature as conceived by the ancients according to a conventional symbolism. At first sight, one would suppose this arrangement to be apertory, but it is not. It is necessitated by the structure of the universe and in particular of the solar system as symbolized by the Holy Kabbalah. Alistair Crowley. So yeah, I'm looking forward to sort of diving deep into the Thoth Tarot. So let's see what today's card I'm going to focus on today. So look at it. Whoa, okay, so straight away, I think this is what's really important for me was the art. Okay, that's card number 14. It would be what you would call temperance. And to me, this is very much about um, moderation. There's transformation through moderation, allowing us to sort of develop our own abilities to look at um, how things merge together or blend together to create something new. This to me is a very alchemic um, card. It's very much about putting things together to create something new. Very much about blending things, about moderation, about bringing things into a some sense of balance, if you like. It's an interesting card. So there we are. Let's have a look and see what, um, let's have a look at some of the meanings of the temperance. Let's have a look here. So what did she, what do they say here? It's art, okay. Combination of forces, a realization, action based on accurate calculation economy, management, success after elaborate maneuvers, the way of escape, or the way of escape, sorry, the way of escape. It's an interesting thought. And let's have a look and see what else is said. Oh, it's quite a bit more. Okay. The highest achievement of alchemy was the effecting of change. The transmuti transmuting of objects, qualities, colours and so on into their opposites. Thus, in this card, the red lion has become white. The white eagle has become red. In the main figure, the black and white personages, which were the lovers in cards six, are now intertwined and fused into an androgynous figure. This is the consummation of the royal marriage. The rainbow symbolizes another stage in the alchemical process by the aura of many colored lights rising out of putrefaction. Putrefaction itself is shown by the raven perched on a skull in the cauldron. The, con the consummation of the whole art of alchemy is proclaimed in the glory with its inscription. Vesis Vesis Visita, visita interridra terre rectificando i venus occultum lapidum. The council to visit the interior of the earth is a recapitulation on a higher plane of the first formula of the work. The important word is rectificando. It implies the right leading of the new flying substance in the path of the true will. You visit. Okay, so we have the Thoth Tarot and we've just looked at the card art. We've read through it in the book in the book in some ways. Of course, there's a whole lot more in the other section, but anyway, I just wanted to sort of share my thoughts and a little bit from the book as well. It's quite a good little book, actually, for a um, deck that's inexpensive. But, um, yeah. 
So that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.